So basically we have a, a flat bait and then we have edger and then we have a, uh, a, a pipe, a, it's basically a, a two by two um, piece of pipe fitting and then a one by one piece of pipe fitting which is going to show us what we're going to cut out and how much space we're going to leave around it. We have the cooler. Uh, this should normally be styrofoam without a lid and then we have some shade cloth which we've just put over the top. Figure your, your time to do this project. Um, are you going to have an entire afternoon to be able to do this? That's so many hours. Appa approximately how many tulus are you going to be able to plant in that many hours? See the planting site first and figure out what, what is going to be required. Even, you know, put your spade in to the planting area. See how easy it's going to be to dig Planting it. the wildlings at um, an 18 inch on centers. Start measuring from the water line to 18 inches. We could plant one wildling plug here and then the next wildling plug at 18 inches and then I will measure 80, the, the um, length of the water line in the zone where I can plant two leaves. And then I would divide that by 18 inches. So that would be about six of them times uh, one, two. So you'd need about 12 plugs. A one square foot, really dense mat of stems, either cut or pull all the dead material. Okay, so we now have a one foot square area with all the, uh, the, dead, um, the dead reeds removed. Perpendicular to the soil surface, cut, um, push the spade down uh, to about five to six inches only. You definitely need five inches. You. That'll work. Now we can remove the quad. Okay, now you want me to uh, so, pry it open? Yes, exactly. Pr pry, it, pry it out. Important to do this job fairly gently because you need to retain the soil. Can I pull it from the tops or not? No. No, you'll lose the soil. Got it. And this is the rhizome, the tuli rhizome right there. Okay. And there's another one right there. In fact, this this piece is full of the rhizomes. Okay, so the, it, we cut out from this hole here, and now we're trying to space ourselves? Yeah. So basically we're going to have about a two foot separation between each plug. Correct. Okay. Why? Leave enough rhizome and root material behind to fill in that hole within one season. Some of this stem material off. So what's the size it needs to be cut to? That, that is entirely dependent on the water level okay. at which they are going to be planted into. Okay. We're going to split this into four. Okay. So we're going to make a cut there and a cut there. Okay. Okay, now. That one is good. See, that one has good. Yep. You then go to the water's edge, get a bucket of lake water, and pour water into the cooler up to the soil. Just to the depth of the yep. soil. Just to the depth of the soil. Direct sunlight is bad. We put a little bit of a shade cloth, a uh, some some little tablecloth or some you know piece of material okay. over them. Okay. Look at the size of the wildling plug, and and then guesstimate approximately the hole okay. that you need to dig. Okay. So as close to the actual size of the plug is. Perfect. Okay.
now we need to take some of this material. So you're getting all the rhizomes covered? Yeah. And of course uh, the, uh, the stalks, the stems are, are staying out of the water. Yeah. And using a lot of force. Very important step is photograph what you've just done. That would be very, very helpful for us to gain knowledge of how to do this better in the future. Because then what I want to do is I want somebody to come back and look at that wildling over the course of the next three to five years. So the rule is you, you start in, in the water or at the water line and, and do the entire row parallel to, to the water line and then step back and then do the next row. Always, always hold a tuned wildling by its by the base. Okay. okay. So Chuck is taking the third one. Picking it up by the root ball. By the root ball. Not by the two root stems themselves. Here we have our three tule plants all done.